abstract. Oh, abstract. Abstract language. Abstract. Okay. What is what is thinking about abstract language? Okay. Uh, math is a language. It is an abstract language, and uh, algebra is perhaps the simplest of the, the languages. And you have abstract symbols. You have x for something that's unknown. If you have two unknowns, you have x and a y. I use the same idea. I do a figure called 10 men, which is done fairly simply. It is the one that I teach second to my new students. And there it is. And since it's a web, it lends itself to uh, permutations, changes. So what I have done is that I've looked at the procedural way of making it, which is operations. This is an operation. So let's call it A. It doesn't have to have a name. It can be called number one. It can be called X, Y, Z. It can be called anything. That A is the simplest. If I pull that string again and down flip it, and put it in the system, it erases the A. So that down flipping is the inverse. And once you have uh, a system which has an identity element, which is the loom, clearly defined operations, A and their inverses, A prime, which when done in sequence will get you back to the identity element, you have what is called a group. And group theory is one of the most powerful of the modern mathematics. And of course, there's the A, under where the far is the B, over the far is a C, push the near under and then over is a D, and over and then under. Come on, fingers. Okay, you see, it really does take concentration and practice. There's the E. And of course, I can down flip the E for the E prime. And again, put up, say, an A. So this is an E prime A. And it doesn't look like much, but it is in, entirely within that system. And since you have 10 elements, the two weave patterns is 10 squared is 100 different patterns. Three weaves is 1,000 different patterns. Four weaves is 10,000 different patterns. And so you can see that you can do these forever in the 10 min system and never get to the end of them. I do 10, 11, 12 weave patterns and I've learned how to make them so that they are open enough that you can open them. 